So it's that time of year again where I visit your feed and remind you that you should be using Excel a little bit more like PowerPoint. There's this huge missed opportunity to use the design features that are built right into PowerPoint already. Nobody just ever teaches you how to use this stuff. It's all possible because Excel has layers. Just like in PowerPoint, you can drop in shapes, images, text, but here you can also drop in charts and metrics all on top of each other to start creating more interesting designs. You've probably done this before in PowerPoint, put a shape in, an image, put some text, then moved it forward or back. We're doing the same thing right here in Excel. And the cool part is that the interface for doing this stuff works exactly the same as PowerPoint. If you've ever done this in PowerPoint, you're going to be able to do it in Excel too. So how we're doing this is we're taking data that's in cells, like this traditional table that you're probably used to in Excel. And then we're using pivot tables and charts to pull stuff out of these cells and put it into these charts and text boxes that give us a lot more flexibility to change our layout and adjust our design. The cool thing here is we're not using any special custom advanced features. This is just built-in standard Excel, no custom coding, no add-ins, nothing like that, just a little creativity in the design side of things. If you're looking at this and you're going, oh, I can't do that, that's crazy, try taking something out of a PowerPoint slide, copying it, and try pasting it into Excel, and you'll be surprised. The whole thing will come right over with all the styling, the shapes, whatever's in there. It'll all paste right into Excel, and you can use it the exact same way there as you would have in PowerPoint. Obviously, you don't have to go as crazy as I do with this stuff, right? But just having some basic understanding of how to use these design features can help you level up all sorts of different reporting that you're doing in Excel. I've got a bunch of full-length tutorials showing this process from start to finish if you want to follow along. And I send out these template files for free on my newsletter so you can actually look at a file as you follow through the process of actually building this stuff. You know, Excel is the biggest data program ever used by mankind. It's got 1.4 billion users. It is part of most people's professional careers at some point or another. And frankly, if we're going to be using Excel, why not learn to push its limits a little bit and integrate a little bit of design to take data from this to something that can actually tell a story and give insights. And to like make it a little fun too. Why not? Anyway, thanks so much for tuning in everybody. Hope you enjoyed that. If you got any questions, drop them in the comments. Uh, and if you have specific stuff you want to see tutorials on, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks.